Rick Astley. Welcome to Good Rockin' tonight. Cheers. Let's go back, Rick, and trace your musical background and get a little history from you. Where did it all start? Was there any one catalyst that, that made you say, hey, rock and roll is for me? I always wanted to play the drums, and uh, from just an early age, I suppose I just wanted to beat things, really. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I got a drum kit when I was about 15, and I got into a band with a couple of friends at school. Did that for a couple of years, and uh, joined a different band. And uh, became the singer because uh, I had to, really, because uh, the other guys in the band who were doing the singing weren't particularly very good. And also because I started to write songs at that point, I was about 17. So, um, obviously, you know, because of writing the songs and everything, it, it just it became a natural progression just to become the singer. So, uh, uh, I did that for a, a year or so and what have you. And uh, one night, basically, the producer came along, Peter Walkman, to see us playing in a club. And uh, he said, I'd like to sign him as a solo artist to the guy who was managers and managing us and still manages me now. So, uh, very uh, usual sort of rock and roll story, really. <laughs> That was obviously done a couple of years ago. For better or for worse, Rick Astley's reputation was that of an artist manufactured by his production team of Stock Aiken and Waterman. And it was this reputation that inspired Rick to release Free and involve himself in every creative aspect. Now, there were obvious advantages from his split with the hitmen. I'm free to choose the songs that I want to sing, the way that I want to have them produced, all the different things, you know, where we want to go and do the recording. There's so many avenues have been opened up since, you know, leaving Stock Aiken and Waterman. One of the things that I've been able to do with this album really is uh, work with other people and have songs from all different places come and you know for me to listen to and all this sort of thing. And one of the, the biggest surprises and, and biggest pleasures really was the fact that uh, Michael McDonald um, had sent some songs to me. Whether he personally put them in the post, I'm not sure, but uh, he sent some songs to me. And, uh, this time I've had the, the opportunity to, to write with other people, which I've never done before. And uh, it was a, a really good experience for me as a learning experience. Um, and also as a confidence booster as well, because the other people actually said, Rick Astley, yeah, wouldn't mind writing a song with him. Um, even to the degree that it was one of my heroes, in fact, Mark King from Level 42. Well, I met Mark simply because I had a phone call saying, do you want to go and write some songs with Mark King? And, uh, I said, yeah, of course we do. So, uh, so that was it. I literally went down to the Isle of Wight where he lives and uh, we knocked a few tunes out. Well, one evening while I was in Los Angeles, I'm not sure which usually I am, um, I, I went out to dinner with uh, Elton John and he said, uh, by the way, anytime you want me to play on some of the tracks, I'll be there, no problem. So I said, oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> so I said, right. And I said, can you sign here, please? And I said, oh. so obviously I was more than pleased about it. I had matured quite a bit, obviously, since my first record. Um, and I wanted to put that across quite a bit in the music, you know. So uh, it's just been something that's been a whole more... You know, from my own point of view, it's been a bit more relaxed to do my own songs, but there's been tension from the, the other, working with other people. My own songwriting, I think, has uh, obviously developed because I've had a little more time now that I've had all this time off. Um, and I've been able to put a little more quality into it, I think. And also because I've learned because of working with the other people. I think the main difference is that I've had myself to please this time. Why don't I feel the cry? 